So this video will go through every problem. Specifically, if you don't need to see every problem's example, go ahead and just look at the final answer key posted as a PDF. Otherwise, feel free to fast forward to the problem that you're looking for. We're gonna go in order here. Um, so the first thing we do is evaluate the expression. The big idea here is pretty much anything to the zero power is gonna be one. So over on number one, we have the number negative three to the zero power. So any number to the zero power is one. Number two, again, any number like seven to the zero power is going to be one. Now here when I see three to the negative fifth power, well that tells me that instead of multiplying by three, those threes are gonna be on the bottom. So we're actually gonna be dividing by three five times. So you could leave it as one over three to the fifth, or if you wanted to go ahead and grab your calculator and figure out what is three to the fifth power, you could leave it as one over 243. Either one is fine. Now in number four, we can see that that negative um, exponent is applying to everything, right? It's applying to everything inside those parentheses. So I rewrite this, they would move to the bottom. So this is one over negative five to the third power. Now, it's important that I keep the parentheses just so we know that the original problem had parentheses in it. If you wanted to go to your calculator and figure out negative five times itself three times, negative five times negative five times negative five is negative 125. So either of those would have been fine. In number five here, there's two things going on. I can see that the three has a negative exponent, so it's gonna move to the bottom and become a positive exponent. 9 to the 0 power, that's just 1. So on the bottom, there's a 1. And if we remove everything from a top or the bottom, we replace it with a 1. So we have 1 over 3 squared, or you could write it as 1 over 9. In number 6, I see that the numerator of 6 has a negative exponent, so that's going to move to the bottom and become a positive exponent. And since I removed everything from the top, I replace it with a one. Now on the bottom, what's really important to see is that exponent of zero is only on the five. It's not on the negative five. So that negative is gonna stay there, meaning it's already there. And then the five to the zero power is one. So if I clean this up a little bit, I have one over negative six. So here we have to simplify the expression and write our answer using positive exponents. So the negative exponent tells me to move the location of the base. So instead of being on the top as x to the 6, it's going to be on the bottom here. z to the 0 power, that's going to be 1 because anything to the 0 power is 1. Now here I like to expand it and see this as multiplication of three different things. So I can kind of go step by step. The number 7 is just the number 7, so I'm going to copy that number 7. Now x to the 4th originally started on top, but if there's a negative exponent, it's going to move to the bottom. And then anything to the 0 power is 1. So if I summarize this as a final answer, I would get 7 over x to the 4th. On these exercises here, again, it's helpful to maybe split them up into smaller pieces. So like on number 16, there's a 12 there. So 12 times f to the 0 power, where f to the 0 power is 1. Now instead of multiplying by g 9 times, since there's a, a negative exponent, that's going to send g to the bottom 9 times. So I'd actually divide by g 9 times. So we have 12 over g to the 9th. Now number 17, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna put in my multiplication symbols so I can go like one piece at a time. So on top, there's three to the negative second power. So I know that that's gonna send those threes to the bottom. So instead of being negative two, they're gonna be a positive two. The next thing on top was a to the zero power and a to the zero power is just gonna be one. Then I move to the bottom and I see that there's a b to the negative second. So that's gonna tell me to move that b, which was on the bottom, move it to the top and then it'd be a positive two. So again, just kind of going part by part up on top. Six to the zero power is the number one. So on top, first there's gonna be a one. Now it's really hard to see, but t times u to the negative fifth. What I can see is that negative five is actually only applying itself. Do that in blue. That negative five can only reach the u. If it wanted to reach more, it would need to have used like parentheses or something. So in other words, that t is gonna stay on top, but the u to the fifth power is what's gonna be on the bottom because just those u's are being sent to the bottom. Now on the bottom, there already was a two to the fifth. So it doesn't have a negative exponent, so it's not going anywhere. So it's two to the fifth. So if I simplify, I could write it as this, 
that's fine. Or on top, I could just simplify it. That's t. Then I have u to the fifth. And if you wanted to do 2 to the fifth power, because that's not really that hard, you could just call that 32. Either one of those is fine. Number 19, I see it's a fraction, so I'm going to go ahead and put a fraction bar so I can get my top and my bottom. Now, t has a negative exponent, and it's already on the top, which means it's going to move itself to the bottom and become a positive exponent. If I remove everything from the top, I replace it with a 1. Now I go to the original bottom and I see that 8 had an exponent of negative 2. So that 8 then is going to move to the top. So up on top will be an 8 and it now has an exponent of positive 2. And then on the bottom there used to be an s with a negative exponent of 3. So the negative exponent tells us to move it to the top. So after I moved it to the top, I no longer need the negative exponent. And finally, number seven, or sorry, number 21, again, we'll go by step. So first there's the number 17, which isn't anything special. It's just the number... 17. So that 17 is going to stay on top. It's not going to change at all because it's just a number 17. Then I go x to the 0. I see that next to the 17th. x to the 0, anything to the 0 power is just 1. And again, we're connecting everything with multiplication because that's what exponents are for. Then on top, the last thing I see is y to the negative 8th. So because that y has a negative exponent, it's actually going to move to the bottom. Now I go to the original bottom, and first I see there was a 4 to the negative second power. So that 4 then is going to move to the top if it already was on the bottom, and the x1 becomes a positive 2. And then the same thing with that z on the bottom there. We see that z originally had a negative exponent, so instead of being on the bottom, it's going to move to the top and become positive. So this would be a great way to leave your answer.